introduction to forests. Mom, where are we going this vacation? Son, we are going to our hometown Kerala. Wow, that would be great fun. I will get to visit new places. Yes, dear. We will be away from this busy and polluted city for some time. Mom, this place is so different from our city. There is greenery all around. I am enjoying every part of it. Thanks, Mom, for taking me here. Now, could you please explain me the significance of forest? Sure, dear. These forests are our lifeline. They are very important for us. It is the habitat of terrestrial animals. The animals living in these forests vary according to the climatic conditions of the forest. Like in colder regions, you would find a llama, mountain goat or a snow leopard, while in a forest with moderate climate, you would see a lion, elephant or a deer. These forests are a thick cover of trees and have various types of shrubs, herbs, creepers and climbers. Mom, is that a neem tree? Yes, son, you are absolutely right. There you can see shisham and teak tree. Who does plant the trees in the forest? In nature, trees produce enough seeds. The land of forests provides favorable conditions for them to germinate and develop into seedlings and saplings. The branches of the tall trees look like a roof over the other plants in the forest. This is called a canopy. The branchy part of a tree above the stem is known as the crown of the tree. The different horizontal layers in the forest are known as understories. Giant and tall trees constitute the top layer followed by shrubs and tall grasses and herbs form the lowest layer.